You haven't altered a bit. Everything else has. Think of it. Stage shows, radio programs, fan mail, your own theatre. Ah, uh, it's not so long since things were different. We've come a long way, lads. We've come a long way. Do you remember how we first met? We three. I was at North West Hampton. Yeah, I was down to my last sixpence. And I'd an out in me pocket. Never did have in those days. Only hope in me heart and a smooth tongue in me head. I'll never forget it. Arriving in town ahead of me company, with no money for a room, or for the posters I'd ordered, or to pay for the theatre I'd rented. Those were the days. <laughs> Looks like a ham actor to me. I knew it wasn't kosher. <laughs> My good man, have you seen my chauffeur? Eh? My car was to meet me here, the large one. Oh, I haven't seen it, sir. Dear, dear, and the mayor waiting. Beastly bore, these receptions. Aye. Uh, my valet and secretary will follow later. You might tell them where I am. Mustn't keep the mayor waiting. Oh, no, sir. I'll order a taxi for myself. Thank you, sir. No, my man, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Bain. That'll take a rare bit of doing. Oh, well. Well, my dear, can I have my old room? Not good. My dear Mrs. Bain, remember me? That's worse. She will. Hello, hello, just popped in to see her. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. Bates. I saw you coming, Mr. Lovejoy. And you came yourself to welcome me, the open door of hospitality. As I always say, old friends are best. So much of the old. Younger than ever, my dear, and as charming as always. Well, here I am, back in town and on your doorstep, like the bad penny, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't forgotten me. You? Not me. I remember things. Like elephants. I mean, uh, nicely put. Well? You'll be wanting your same room. 
You made it home, sweet home. You made yourself at home. Just like old times, eh? Not quite. Things have changed. Changed? Outside. I'll show you. Look, down there. I can't see anything. Look hard, you will. Nay, damn it, missus. See now? No. You're out. But my things. They're in. But. And here this day. You can have them when you pay me what you owe me from last time and not before. This is an outrage. <laughs> home sweet home, remember? Oh, my poor foot. Oh, poor man. It must hurt you. It does. Well. <laughs> uh, goodbye, my dear. I, I'll see you later. A lot of business to attend to, you know. Well, at least it's better than having to carry those blinking suitcases. Sounds like mice. Let me tell you, I'm not mice, because if I was mice, I'd like cheese, and I don't like cheese, so... So you're not mice, then what are you doing in that hole? Mr. Jones told me to go through the stock, and I got stuck. Uh, here's hey, give us two. A uh, here's two. Hey, here's two. Aye, that's the last. He always sneezes three times at 11 o'clock, so as to wake himself up. So that's Mr. J. Jones, Jr., I presume. I'll see him. He's senior. He can't have seen me. I've only just come in. I'll speak to him. He won't listen. Why not? He's deaf. Anyway, he doesn't work here. Then what's he doing here? He just draws my wages. And what do you do? I do all his work. Now listen, unconscious. Where is Mr. Jones? He's Mr. Jones. But you just told me. But it's his son's my boss. And where's he? Gone to his grandson's wedding and left me in charge of the shop. You in charge? That's easier. I've called for my posters. Are they ready? Are they ready? I'm asking you. And I'm telling you. I don't even know who you are. I am Mr. Lovejoy. The actor. Yes, sir, Mr. Lovejoy. All your posters are ready, sir. If I can find them. Idiot's delight. Ah, here they are. Right, I'll take them with me. No, 12 and 9 pence. DFCO. DFCO? What's that? Deliver for cash only. Ah, that's very good. Well, here's a theatre pass. Come and see me act and you can collect the money. T-N-G-I. And what's T-N-G-I? Try and get it. Oh, but the boss said, unless he pays all he owes, don't give the posters to that low downstage comic. Comic? I'm a tragedian. I called you a lot of things, but what you said wasn't amongst them. And those are my posters? Yes, I'll show you. Hmm, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. That's no use. No use? I can't use that. You printed them upside down. He so I did. So you're to blame. What a waste of time, labor, and material. Wait until the boss sees this. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes. Neither would I. Goodbye, laddie. Mr. Lovejoy, Mr. Lovejoy. You take them. They're no use to me. Please, Mr. Lovejoy, then he won't know and I won't get the sack. Well, all right, my lad, but only as a favor to you. Thank you, Mr. Lovejoy. I'll remember you for this. I'm sure you will. Grand chap, Mr. Lovejoy. He got me out of a bit of a mess, he did. And so you let him talk into giving him the posters? Oh, but Mr. Jones... And he didn't pay! You're a brainless nincompoop. You can blame Lovejoy for being out of a job. Eh? Hey? You're fired! What will my auntie say? It's all that Lovejoy's fault. Maybe he'll hire you. That's right. He might. E, it seems like fate. I'm going on the stage. The chance has come. Whoopi, that are Mr. Jones. Crackers. Good riddance. Let me tell you. Now, don't you start that. You're a man of the world, my dear Bigglestaff. And as editor of the community's one newspaper, shall we say it's leading newspaper, you, sir, 
are a molder of, uh, well, public opinion. Get to the point. To be brief, I want you to attend my opening night as my guest. To be briefer still, you want some free publicity. Publicity? Me, sir? I hate it. I'm an artist. Let me tell you... Where have I heard that before? I've been running this paper for the last 30 years, and it's always the same line of gab. My policy is no free publicity. Here in North West Hampton, we've had some real actors. I've been insulted. And I've been given the sack. Ah, deadly nightshade. They said you were here, Mr. Lovejoy, I want to ask you... If I can find something for you to do, of course I can. Excuse this interruption. It's a pleasure. Not another word there. The posters, you mean you want me to? Stick them up, exactly. You mean? Now run along, Gumboyle, I'll see you later. Oh, thank you, sir. Won't my auntie be pleased? Goodbye, all. My new assistant, I'd like to break... I'd like to break him in. Always believe in giving local lads a break. That's why I came to see you for advice. Advice? Confidential advice. This is my goodbye to the provinces. Next season I shall be in London. Not for publication, mind you. The London newspapers haven't got this yet. I understand. The point is, I must have fresh talent to take with me, but I haven't time to find it. I can't go searching. Well, how can I help you? Well, you know everybody hereabouts. You might suggest some worth giving a trial. I see. It's a golden opportunity. Fame and fortune waits for someone, if only we can find them. I'll give it a thought. I knew you would. Thanks so much, Mr. Bigglestaff. I won't detain you any longer. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello? Hello, Ed. Hold me some space. I've got a front page story for tomorrow. Ain't up the gump. They said he didn't love you, but he knows. Maybe he's so dumb he's clever. Makes people notice him more being bottom side up. It's a very good show. I enjoyed it myself. All that I dream of is you. All that I want. Is it Joy, this is a surprise. It isn't all. Oh, do come in. Hey? I'm that pleased to see you, you can't imagine. No, I can't. Ghosts. Your baggage is unpacked and everything's put away and you'd have your same old room. Hey? Oh, you must be wore out, so busy. You'll need a bit of rest. I'll bring it to you up in a jiffy. I don't... Auntie just... Jenny! Oh, the epidemic. Oh, hello, Mr. Lovejoy. I told me, Auntie, that you gave me a job. So that's it, eh? Ah, oh, the little darling. The late sister's boy, and we're so proud of him. A grateful Mr. Lovejoy. I feel I can't be doing too much for you. Oh, I look like being stuck with this. Anything you'd like me to do now, Mr. Lovejoy? Yes, my little nightmare. Take a long walk on a short pier. Oh, rubbish. Bah! Disgraceful. Outrageous poppycock. <laughs> what is, Papa? Theatrical clap trap Cheap publicity. Really, dear. Such language, and at breakfast, so bad for your ulcers. Mrs. Mossop, if you please, I shall enjoy breakfast in my own way, and lunch, and dinner, and my ulcers. But in front of Bunty, oh, I don't mind. I'm only saying it for our daughter's own good. She may have silly ideas about the stage. I love the stage. As a girl, they said I made a lovely Juliet. No. Amateur, of course. But you're... Bah! The theatre is a sink of iniquity. Actors! Ah. Dear, you're upsetting yourself and everything else. I repeat, bar. And I shall be late for the office. John, dear, remember your indigestion. Don't you... remind me. Opportunity for local talent. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 
No publicity, eh? That'll teach Mr. Editor Bigglestaff a lesson. Enoch, my lad, live and learn. There's more ways than one of skinning a mouse. But, Mr. Lovejoy, do you want to skin mice? Oh, never mind, Quicksilver. They'll get in your hair. What, mice? No, people. They'll chase you. They want to recite to you. They won't leave you alone. Millions of them. In this town, millions? Anyway, dozens. Do you think I'm daft? Yes, sir. Hey? I mean, no, sir. Now, listen, Morning Glory. They will all want to show me what they can do. But I won't have time. I shall be too busy with my plays. Still... I can let them walk on as supers, and that will give me a chance of seeing their ability. If they wear the proper costumes. My dear child, this is a monologue, not a catalogue. As I was saying, I'll be doing them a favour. They will be gaining valuable stage experience, and they won't expect any wages. Understand, little buttercup, now, eh? You may enter. I hope I don't intrude, Mr. Lovejoy. I'll come for the tray. Have you had enough breakfast? Yes, thank you. Take it away. Awkward, ain't I? Morning, sir. I've brought you up water. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Your pantaloons, Mr. Lovejoy, all pressed and sponged lovely. Hey, that's proper champion. <clears throat> Girls! Well? Who is this Lovejoy chap? Great stage actor he is. Awful dramatic. He's played before crowned heads of Europe. Opens here this week. Of course, he never eats in this place. He's too posh. But I want to see him play Othello. He was ducky. Mm, nice publicity. He seems to have a good racket. Where's the porter? Where's my biggest? Who's that? What's she like? She looks foreign. Tall, dark, slim. Looks like an actress. No, old and fat and looks like school teacher. <sighs> For a minute, I thought she... Another cup of coffee, sir? Well, um... Uh -huh. No, um, second thoughts. Better not. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, which way's the theatre? Down the main road on your left. Are you going to be there? Hey, I never can tell. I wish I was an actress. I wish I was still an actress. Oh, Connie, I wish I was back on the stage in London. Not likely. There's no place there for old crocs like us. I used to sing. Go on, you never. I did. And I used to play one of these. Oh, well, never mind, ducks. You'll soon be playing one again. I say, Connie, do you think I could have a go on it? Well, you can't do no harm. <laughs> play something classical. Something sentimental. Theatre 
a setter's dream. Oh, you? so that's it. Well, I used to be a footlight favourite too, I did. And now we're old crocs, all of us. Old me? Why, I'm only... Maybe you're right. <laughs> well, a cup of tea won't do any of us anyhow, so come on, girls. What'll I do when we get to the theatre, Mr. Lovejoy? The first thing to do is to wake up. I'm not asleep. I haven't slept for days. How's that? I sleep at night. Oh, there's the theatre. I would have better go in, Mr. Lovejoy. No stage door. Look, I told you so. What do you do, Mr. Lovejoy? Leave it to you, my boy. To me? Yes, I shall be busy in the front of the house. You take their names and addresses, find out what they can do. Shall I hire any of them? Well, use your head, man. I will, Mr. Lovejoy. No, I tell you, you'll have to wait until Mr. Lovejoy gets here. No, I know nothing about him. Please. No. No what? What you said. But I didn't. But I'm not. Oh, you're crazy talking to yourself. I would be if I listened, but I don't. Goodbye. Enough. I can't stop now. Too busy. Hey, wait, lady. We're all ahead of you. Yes, but I've Come got... on, get in line. Yes, but that... End of the queue, see? Hey, now, that's your place. It's behind me. You shouldn't behave like that, you know. People won't like you. But I've got to go in there. So have we all. Ooh! What'll I do? You'll wait like the rest of us. How long? Until let Mr. Lovejoy come. Suppose Mr. Lovejoy doesn't come. Then he'll send his assistant or somebody to take charge of things. No. And I thought you were Mr. Lovejoy. <laughs> Ridiculous, wasn't it? Yes, I'm not. I'm his assistant. You are? Yes. I didn't think I'd have to wait in the queue. Oh, listen, mister. My name's Bunty. Bunty Smith. Smith, you know with an S. Address? What? Where do you live? Uh, I don't. What do you do? Sing, dance, anything. Look, I'll show you. Yes, but... I'd sing in my head some music. What's the big idea? Why don't you save it, honey? He's Mr. Lovejoy's assistant. He's in charge. I'll get... You know, they tell you what to do. Columbus discovered America And Neptune found the sea And here am I, try, try, trying But nobody discovers me Eve caught Adam in the Garden of Eden With an apple on a tree And here am I, cry, cry, crying But nobody discovers me Kick high, kick slow Take a hot note, swing it low For the thing that you give them Has got to have plenty of rhythm As you know We'll create the glamour girl, a swell job, you'll agree. Oh, me, oh, my, here am I, with vitamins A to Z. But nobody discovers me. Disney discovered the seven dwarfs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, 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 but nobody discovered me. Mark Kearney discovered the radio. I've sung on the baby.
Besides, I'm going to get all your names and addresses, so get back in the line. Where's Mr. Lovejoy? He's in the theater lobby. Why? Now, what do you do? Steady there. Don't keep shaking the blinking ladder. Then stop wobbling it. If you let me fall, the audience will never forgive you. Hey, hey, that's what you think. There he is. Hello, man. He's cornered. You can go. I'll take care of this. What's that ladder? We'll look after you, Lovejoy. Till you settle our bills. You're going to pay the money you owe us. Or your show don't open. And you go to jail. You'll get your money. Now! Well, my assistant who handles the cash is round backstage. Listen, Lovejoy. Oh, Mr. Lovejoy, there you are. Your assistant said you'd some bills to pay and sent me round with the money. Mm. Well, now, that's different. Mine's a more than 18 pounds and some four, Miss. I'm going to get my... Yes, Thank you very much. There you are, gentlemen. Good morning. Thanks very much. And there you are, Mr. Lovejoy. Yes, I know, lass, but where? Enoch the Gumpy hasn't got any money. Why did you do it? I want you to give me a job, Mr. Lovejoy. Oh, you must. But it doesn't make sense. You've got money and you want a job. Yes, Mr. Lovejoy. How did you come by the money? Did you steal it? Oh, no, Mr. Lovejoy. You see, it's like this. My husband, he's, he's very rich. He's a foreign nobleman. That makes me a countess. But he's very cruel to me. A beast with, with whiskers. Kept me locked up in his castle like a, a, a guilty bird in a cage. I had to get away, so I came to you for help and protection. I want to be an actress. Hide me from him and... And, 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 and your husband... He's a big, tall giant of a man, eh? Oh, no, tiny and nearsighted. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, you're a hero. You'll not be sorry. I'm awfully dramatic, Mr. Lovejoy. Let me show you do. All right, then, let's get cracking. Now, what's it to be? A, a scene from a tragedy. Awfully emotional. I do the poor girl, and you can do the man that did me wrong. It won't take a minute. All right, all right. Don't be a jumpy bug. Stop bouncing. Now, let's have it. No, no, not that. You fiend in human form. Right shall prevail. You shall not have your way with me. Fine. Very good. Oh, but there's some more yet. And hand me the land. Oh, no, I say, let me go. Let me down, you can. Oh, you may fall in. And hand me the land. Go away. Stop that. Take away, woman. Let her go. Are you hurt? Did you like it? Wasn't it lovely? You're delirious, child. Oh, you're wonderful. So strong, so profiteering, so... Oh, poor Mr. Lovejoy. Huh? Where is he? Oh, dear. You, you mean he's Mr. Lovejoy? I was acting for him. Your acting's too real for me. Take that away. I'm terribly sorry, sir, really. As a matter of fact, I was just coming to see you. Funny coincidence, wasn't it? I felt everything but the funny part. The gentleman thought he was coming to my rescue. It was very sweet of you, Mr... Mr... Uh, Ramsbottom's the name. Uh, my name's uh, Brown, Bunty Brown. Uh, when you two have quite finished, will you please leave me alone? But I want to speak to you, sir. I came all the way from London to talk to you on business. London? What kind of business? Money-making, for us both. Excuse us. Big business. Oh, this idea of your idea interests me, uh, Mr. Rams, uh, what you may call it, to uh, proceed. Your company, Mr. Lovejoy, appeals to me as a sound business proposition. Yes? It should expand. Oh, yes. Which requires capital. And that's where I come in. Yeah, you mean you supply the capital? Oh, well, not exactly, but I'll get it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Lovejoy, Mr. Lovejoy. What is it, lass? It's our leading lady. It's our leading lady. She's... Oh. Enoch! Well... Nancy, thank you, ma'am. The leading lady? And the stage manager. Never looked. Yes, left you, left us flat. Oh, how romantic! The final blow. Oh, surely not. I must think. Oh, don't do that, Mr. Lovejoy. I'll be your leading lady. Hey? And I'll be your manager. Hey. Mr. Lovejoy, perhaps I can help you. Happens I'm on sort of holiday. Could combine managing with our financing plan. Let me tell you, Mr. Lovejoy. You're engaged, if only in self-defense. Oh. And I'll give you Enoch here as your general assistant. Oh, Mr. Ramsbottom, can't I be your leading lady? Not yet. General understudy. Oh, but... To start, to get experience, you must win your spurs, you know. Spurs? You mean I ride a horse? That'll be nice. 
Take them away, Ramsbottom. Start rehearsals. Miss Dorsey, you can try the leading part. Oh, yes, Mr. Lovejoy. What'll I do? Take them away, Ramsbottom. Right, Governor. Come on. Now, show me the way to the stage. I'd sooner show you the way to the canal. Poor Lovejoy. You do have your troubles, don't you? What shall we give dear Mr. Lovejoy for his dinner? That's my affair, and I thank you not to presume. I was just asking. Murray, you've left a crease in that sleeve. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Not his sleeve. Seems to me like he wears his heart on it. You mean that actress? Miss Dorsey. She's pretty, isn't she? Oh, well, he brought her here to live, didn't he? I know what I'd like to do to her. Coat's ready. Oh, here, I'll take it up to him. Oh. Well, he's working very hard on his part, and he mustn't be disturbed. Throwing her weight about a bit, ain't she? She acts high and mighty, she do. Anyone would think she was the only one who'd ever been a leading lady. I wonder if there's anything between them. I believe she's carrying on with him. Oh! Come in! I've brought your coat. Thank you, Mrs. Bain. And what would the dear man like for his dinner? Hey, I've only just had my breakfast. <laughs> well, I wanted to have the things you like. Now, that Miss Dorsey... You found her a room? Yes. She's pretty, in a way, isn't she? Actresses, Mrs. Bain, are just the tools of my profession. I never think of them as women. My shoes. Oh, Connie has them to brush. I I'll send her up with them. Thank you. Come in. You can put them down. Put down what? My shoes. I haven't got them, Mr. Lovejoy. Oh, it's you again, is it? Well, what is it? This. My part in your first play. Well? All I had to say is yes, sir. How can I do any acting with that? Well, you can add O. Oh. Try it. Yes, sir. O. Oh. That doesn't seem to make sense. <sighs> I want some more to do. After all, I paid some of your bills. You'll have plenty to do. You understudy all the ladies in the company. What does that mean? Well, if any of them fall ill or can't appear, you take their places. Oh, I hope they all get ill. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, might as well live in a railway station as here. Come in. I brought your shoes, sir. Where would you like them, sir? On my feet. I'll put them on myself. I'll see you at rehearsal, I'm afraid. Oh! Enoch, I want to talk to you. I'm busy. It looked like it. I've got to report to Mr. Ramsbottom, but it's the tell. Let me tell you, I wish I was his boss. And I wish I had the leading lady's part. Listen, Enoch, if we work together, maybe we can both get what we want. Yes, then I'd be important. If we stick together, will you do it? Yes. Good. But I've got to hurry up. Mr. Ramsbottom's waiting. Ah, oh, he's wonderful. Me? Of course not, silly. Mr. Ramsbottom. Oh. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Just a moment. Oh, you? I thought it was somebody. Aren't I somebody? Oh, that's a matter of opinion. I'm your new assistant. What'll I do? Stop talking. Oh. See who that is. Who is it, please? I mean myself! Where is he that runs with him? Tanya! Aha! So there you are, snake worm! I got me enough! Not yet, Ivan! So... You think you lose Tanya and make this safe escape. You run out from London, but we follow. We find you, me and my big brother. I got me enough! Yes, Ivan, but not yet. Now listen, Tanya. I need someone so you and what I get. You think Tanya the great... Stupid artista, the big fool! Huh? But now I will tear you up into little pieces. And what is left of you, my big brother, you will tear into more little pieces again and again. Tanya, it was all a mistake. Look back all of my money! 
You promise me the great London debut. And what I get? I get left in the lodge with nothing, nothing at all. Agrimino. Yes, the one, but not yet. Oh, what do you mean, mister? What is that? He's my assistant. Oh, put the cute little man down, Ivan, my brother. I want him. Oh, not me. You do something to me. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Tanya, I didn't run away. I came here on your behalf to help further your artistic career. I've secured for you the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. A place in the company of the world's greatest impresario, living or dead, Jay Sheridan Lovejoy. But if he is dead, I know what him. Next season, you will burst upon London like a blazing star. Eee. Good, I see him now, this, um, this Lovejoy. Come. Ah, but Tanya, I must speak to Lovejoy first before he sees you. I see him now. Ah. My little marmosette. Oh, Come. You can have an awful time with your career. And Mr. Lovejoy. I find time for you. This Sir Percy is my answer. Come weal or woe, I love him. Naught's in your power to change that or win me from his side. Didst think I likely love? Oh, yes, sir. What's that, Miss Dorsey? Didst think I likely love? It's your cue, Mr. Lovejoy. I thought I was hearing voices. <clears throat> A touch of liver, likely. Oh, yes. Quiet! Miss Dorsey, my dear. Do you think you could give us a little more colour? I mean, uh, purple passion. Passion? Hi, lass. Remember, you're not a girl saying she loves lollipops. You're a woman who's burning for her mate. Oh, yes, sir. Bunty, come here. My cue! I missed it. Wait! Wait a minute! Yes, sir. What is this, a skating rink? Yeah, I fell down. How was I? A smash. That's what I felt. Let's get on with the rehearsal. Let's do. Where do you want me? Anywhere but here. Take her away, Ramsbottom. Where is my assistant? Where is his assistant? Where's Enoch? Enoch! Ramsbottom, you're late. I began to think you were not going to get here at all. So did I, Governor. Oh, so this is it. Yes, no. Mr. Lovejoy, yes, it's, it's up to him. My sweet Tanya, she forgave you. Don't go away, little Dito. Governor, meet Madame Tanya. Oh, I like you also. So big, like the Elephantissimus. Ramsbottom? Ramsbottom, my love, also. Only him there is not so much of. You are proud I act with you. Act? Never before have you such acting seen. You like I show you now? No, the rehearsal's over. I want to go home. Good, I go with you. We talk about me. Casanova. Oh, listen, Bunty. Oh, you and th th that woman. But I can explain. Oh, not to me, you sweet rumsbitum. Go away. Oh, please. Oh, I never want to see you again. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? He's gone! Oh! Has that woman gone? Yes. So is Mr. Ramsbottom. And I love him. The home wrecker. I hope she eats him alive. Yes, but you said you love him. No, I hate him. I live for my career. I'll show him I'm a better actress than she is. They're red. The critics, they are at my feet. Flat all over the continent. I know. Flat feet all over the continent. What do you think? Think I'm sunk. I forget never the applause. The crowd, they weep, they laugh, they cheer. Everywhere it is the same. I am terrific. Saved. I'll get him enough. They've gone off. Don't go away. I'll try again. I'll get him enough. My success in Turkey, she is just the same. That leaves only the Switzerland and the Sweden. Open the door. Well, Mr. Lovejoy, you are home early. Oh. Well, Mr. Lovejoy? This, this is your sole mama. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Ah, yeah, 
why this house here is haunted like Macbeth, only here there are four old witches. Oh, Mr. Lovejoy, I am surprised. No, she said witches. Tell her what I am. Oh, that's easy to see. Is that so? No, lasses, lasses. Oh, your noise. Out of the way, fatness. Take Don't your claws off him. He is my business. Stop Let's... mocking me about. Let go, will you? I, I wish not. you would. You will. I will. You will. I will. You 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 will. Now you've done it. You've busted me braces. Oh. Let that be a lesson to you. I'm surprised at you. No, I am nearly driven daft trying to get my play ready for tomorrow night. I want no more of it. No, oh, Mr. Lovejoy. Mr. Lovejoy. Not another word. The rest is silence. Oh, she's too tall. I'd never be able to wear her costume. Miss Gilk, oh, I like her part. Put down dressing room number five, seven, eight, ten and twelve. Get their costumes and bring them to me in the property room. And then they won't be able to go on the stage. Suppose they get suspicious. Oh, they won't if you use your head. Now, hurry up. See you in the property room. Eight, ten, twelve. Bunty. Oh, you. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, please, Terry was only interested in her career. She doesn't mean that to me. Not that? Uh -huh. And I do mm -hmm. mean that to you? I must say, it's not very complimentary, just a mere that. Bunty, I'm serious. I want to tell you how I feel about no, you. No, I haven't time. You think I'm wonderful? Oh, I do, Bunty. Can't stop now. You're crazy, too? About me, I mean? Oh, I'm mad about you, Bunty. Good. I'm terribly busy. You must come up and see me sometime. Tell me how you feel about me. Crazy kid. Oh, Nero, Nero, what is this? A secret meat, a secret Oh! How dare you? Uh, well, you see, there's a, there's a, a man out there. Uh, uh, here, what, what number dressing room is this? Number eight. Eight? What are you doing? Well, from the laundry, taking next week's washing. That's two of them. I use me head. Aye, now my Troy looks beauteous in her flames. Beauteous in her flames. The Tyrene seas are bright with Roman fires. <coughs> the voice is a bit bloodshot today, old boy. <coughs> beauteous with Roman fires. A princess mind knows neither hope nor fear. <coughs> knows neither hope nor fear. But Nero in his royal robes. A prince's mind knows neither hope nor fear. A prince's mind knows neither... Neither hope nor fear. Hope nor fear. Hmm. The beams of royal majesty are such with it, eyes are weakened and amazed. Weakened and amazed. Weakened and amazed. Uh, Amazed and weakened. What sits the dagger I see before me? There. That'll do. Ah, here you are. Over here with them. I used my head, I did. But they're all alike. Oh. You only really needed to get one. Um, the trouble I went to to get them. Overture, and I haven't called the actors. Here, here. Take this with you. It's in my way. Overture, on the stage. Overture, on the stage. Which were on the stage. Nobody called for 15 minutes. Go on, you'll see me knock. Where's that Enoch? It's time for the curtain. Enoch, the curtain! I'm here, Mr. Rumsbottom! Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir.
up, you crazy galoot. Hello, Hello. Welcome back to Rome, great king. How went the wars, O mighty emperor? Mustn't be late. Affairs of state must wait a father's joys. My heart cries out for my beloved Augusta. Gentlemen, leave me. We shall await your gracious pleasure, sir. Ah, at last she comes. My beloved Augusta. My one and only daughter. One and only daughter? <laughs> Father! <laughs> you again. I fell again. Grieve, my heart, daughter, that our meeting thus, but leads to separation yet again. Speak your lines. Separation yet again, you go aside to Nero. It sounds awfully silly. You're speaking the cues. I must. But why? My duty calls. Do not, I pray you, leave me. Fear not, uh, Papa. I shall leave you I never liked that daughter part anyway. Made a quick exit, didn't I? Yes, and I shouldn't have moved this piece of wood. And now we are together, my dear. <laughs> and now I've got to play the wife's part. And I've got to get back to work. Send somebody, send somebody on. At last I am alone. Alone, alone. I am alone. <laughs> ah, my queen, my puppia. Oh, Nero, Nero, what is this? A secret meeting with our daughter here before you sought me out? Sought me out? She was here, she has gone. She had to go. <laughs> a wife's always more interesting than a daughter. Octavia, my ex-wife, she's away. Banished by my decree far, far from Rome. Nay, hey, she's returned, ignoring your command to league against you with Agrippina. Those two conspire. They must die. Octavia, I'll condemn officially. She has disobeyed Nero, Lord of Rome. And Agrippina? She's a tougher nut. Each in her turn. I'll start with my ex-wife. Ho, oh, Hanasitus! Deep in the heart of Let's Octavia here. Be ruthless, dear. I will. Oh, the forgotten one. Unseen, I'll proudly watch the show. <laughs> they forgot that one, Mr. Lovejoy. You can hide behind it. Come, my lord. Ex-wife and traitress, too. <laughs> Woman, wife that was, Octavia. In you a serpent clutched I to my heart to stab me when my hapless back was turned? Well? I know a bank. We're on the wild time road. No, 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 no. Sorry, wrong power. <laughs> <laughs> you cast me off. Who never did you harm? Took your belly plumb for fear of print deeds. Most horrible. How's that? Your tongue wags fast of things you wot not of. Did I talk it too fast? I'll try again. You cast me! No, 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 me. no, no. Oh, Anacetus! They've been the hard knock! There's money in this. Take her forth to die! Yes, Nero! Leon! <laughs> Drown her! Do you want these, Bunty? Yes, I'd go on right away again as the mother. She comes. Your mother? She, go back. Be firm. She comes. Where is he? Where is he? My son, Mountie Ben. Greetings, oh mother mine. What's this I hear? That Nero plans to come to tour of Greece. You'll bring worlds of mockery upon your head if you go singing round it, witless man. You're acting on the stage. Me to the quick. Goodbye. So soon. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 Where's Anacetus? Ho! Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Take 
Savior has pleased her last. At last. And that the king now? Dead too. Good. It is well. There's ill news too. Conspiracies afoot. And something worse. Speak out. Your ear alone must hear it. Pardon us, good wife. My lover. Oh! 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 Oh, wanton wife! Deceiver! Faithless one! Oh, Nymphaeus oh. is your lover! He is! But now he is dead! Oh. I will avenge my honor! Kill my wife! Don't leave it all to me. <laughs> she is gone. It is a sorry end. The rest is silence. Silence. Ah, my friend, I want you to set fire to Rome. I'll fiddle while she burns. You mean it? I'll teach those Roman traitors to be rebellious to their emperor. Go, set it alight. I shall go, my lord. Come, servants, ho! Oh. Enough, there are no servants. You have to go on. Come, servants, ho! Oh. What will it be, King of Joy? Bring me my lyre. Your lyre? Ha, ha, ha! You've been Ramsbottom! Away! <laughs> Revenge themselves, and so will it. Kings must, upon their people's broken hearts, walk to security and peace of mind. Rome burns! The city is on fire! Rome burns! Rome burns! Rome burns! Rome burns! I'll play my harp. How beauteous Rome appears. Read in a flowing flame of red and blue. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lovejoy, I'm so sorry for what I did. Too late now, sir. They're going mad, but don't go out, Mr. Lovejoy. Hey? They'll kill you. Listen. Hundreds of them, they're going mad. Is there a back way out? Oh, yes, through the window of the property room. Show me. <laughs> Hello, Bunty. Awful, wasn't it? Mm. I'm afraid that's the end of Mr. Lovejoy's dramatic company. Poor Mr. Lovejoy. But it means we're free. We could get married and go up to London. You will, won't you, Bunty? You do love me, don't you? Then why not? I can't leave Mr. Lovejoy now. Where's my daughter? Millionaire Mossop. What's he want? Me? Bunty! Ah, oh, there you are! John, please! Don't nag, Superba. I want to talk to you, young woman, and Lovejoy. Who are you? Name's Ramsbottom. I'm going to marry him. One of the Ramsbottoms of Upper Lowestoft. Oh, you're going to marry him? That's not important, my dear. Well, really? I want to see Lovejoy. Where is he? Don't you think he's had enough trouble for one night, Dad? Trouble? Ha! That's nothing to what he's going to have. <laughs> I never laughed so much in all my life. It's marvellous. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> they laughed at me. Just laughed. I'm finished. Oh, wait a bit of supper, lad. You'll feel better then. I gave them the best I had, and they just laughed me off the stage. This is the end. Nonsense. You've had success before. And you'll have it again. I never was a success. London, crown heads of Europe, fame. Just talk, the lot of it. A second-rate actor in the provinces all my life. And now, not even that. They left. Well, that's better than making people cry. You made them forget their troubles. You made them laugh. Yes, but I didn't mean to. Well, think how much harder you could make them laugh if you tried. If I tried. That Bunty was funny. And Enoch mucking things up. And that foreign actress with the upside-down talk. I could make them laugh with my classic roles. All of them. Caesar, Napoleon, Nero. And it wouldn't break your heart. 
I'll do it. But after tonight, who's going to let me try? Where is he? Ah, oh, there you are, Lovejoy. It's my father. Name's Mossop. Who's the town? I've got something to say to you. Oh, John, dear. I'll say he has. Now, I don't like actors. I never did and I never will. But you're different. Thanks. Now, what's your next engagement? Hey? You got a theater of your own? All right, then I'll buy you one. How's Blackpool? Nicely, thanks. You'll buy me what? Oh, don't quibble. I'll buy you a theater. Any kind of theater. How soon can you open? Now, wait a minute. There's one of us daft. What is the matter with him? It's my father. It's his answer. He's got all the money in the world. Oh, how lovely. It isn't. It's terrible. Oh, they're all crackers. Oh, be quiet, everybody. Uh, you want to give Mr. Lovejoy a theater? Why? Because I laughed more tonight than I've laughed since I was married. Why, John? I forgot my indigestion, forgot everything, and I want more of it. Now, I'm a businessman. I'll finance the whole thing and keep everybody happy. Oh, shed it on just what you wanted. There must be a catch in it. <clears throat> now, about this theater of mine... Wait, my little mom. I got him enough. Yes, sir. Mom, you I want. I take with you to my own country, where the art and the passion, they know no laws. Me, blimey. But first we have the business with this love joy and that rampitum. I got him enough. We cut off their ears and their noses and their fingers one by one. <laughs> that make you laugh, huh? Me. <laughs> And it's all settled. I'll make them all happy. With all of us to help you. Uh, in your very own theatre. <laughs> oh! Here you are, ruffian! <laughs> That's it. That's just what I want. Terrific. Oh, champion. There you are. My career, you have ruined him. <laughs> Never mind. A new one is born tonight. What? If Mr. Lovejoy's own theatre of love, everybody will be happy in Lovejoy's happy grove. <laughs> Come on, lads, don't keep our public waiting. I never thought I'd be an actor, Governor. No. I always wanted to be one. Let's get cracking. Strange, but I find we're all of one mind. We never seem to disagree. So come what may, remember each day we are happy and we're free. You say that the days of plenty will soon come smiling through. But don't you keep on telling me, let me tell you. Each cloud has a silver lining, so why should we feel blue? But don't you keep on telling me, let me tell you. It's funny the way the things people say never seem to bore. Although with each word it seems that we've heard it all a million times before. You say there's a new day dawning when dreams will all come true. But don't you keep on telling me. Our voices mayn't be good, but they're loud. Well, I'm glad you're all here tonight. I've got a grand bunch of guest artists you'll be happy to meet. Just a minute, where are you going? Don't you know it's against all the rules to bring a dog on the stage? But I'm taking him somewhere else. What kind of a dog is it? It's a police dog. Oh, don't be silly. Police dogs are great big dogs. There's something about that high. Shh. He's in disguise. Oh. <laughs> and I'm taking him to a dog show tomorrow. You think he'll win a prize? No, but he'll meet some nice dogs. Hmm. <laughs> Has the dog got a pedigree? Has he, a, has he a family tree? Oh, yes, but I cut it down. You cut it down? Yes, he couldn't climb into his nest. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. Enoch doesn't like dogs. He likes indoor sports. I'm afraid Enoch doesn't know what good, clean fun is. What's that? I say I'm afraid Enoch doesn't know what good, clean fun is. Oh, no. What good is it? Oh. Oh, come on, then. Bye-bye. I'm sorry for this interruption, lads and lasses, but my stage manager, Randbottom, hasn't quite got things running smoothly. Anyhow, now I have a pleasure in presenting my guest artist and your favourite, the one and only Hutch. <laughs> Every love 
love song tells its story And exquisite the tale may be But though I might sing every song they bring There is only one perfect to me You are my love song, my haunting serenade You are my love song, the sweetest ever played I know there was never so tender a melody Half so enchanting to me, darling. You are my love song, the song I'd always hear. No other love song could charm away a tear. So why are you silent? When happiness you could bring You are my love song And love songs were meant to sing Sufficient for the day is the gladness it brings. So why not put your worries all aside? Take each and every minute in your stride. Take the world exactly as you find it, strange as it may seem to be. It's not as you would have designed it Try my philosophy Take the world exactly as you find it Leave the might of beans on gold Live your little day and leave behind it Something to call your own You can perfect it don't expect it How foolish Just to frown and sigh So make your laughter Live ever laughter As something to remember you by If you meet with trouble Never mind it Trouble is something Take the world exactly As you'll find it and you'll find that it was made for you.
get cracking. Here we are again, just happy droning, driving your cares away, so it's no use moaning. We three in happy drone, you've heard us on the BBC, Ramsbottom and Enoch and me. We three, we're not highbrow. Just a set of twerps, maybe. Rams Bottom and Enoch and me. Three North Country comics, three hard-working comics with a job to do. We bring you a tonic, the laughter's a tonic, and just let me tell you. We three, we may sound up. That's what we're supposed to be, Ramsbottom and Enoch and me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you something entirely different. Now, Bunty, Bunty, what do you want? Well, I'm looking for Mr. Lovejoy. He promised me an audition. Audition? What are you going to do? I'm going to do an act of drama. Drama? With three characters. Oh. I play them all myself. Do you? Yes. These are the characters. The villain, the hero, and the heroine. Would you like to see it? Carry on, Todd Slaughter. <laughs> this is it. Well, what's that? That's the curtain going up. You must pay the rent. You must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. I'll pay the rent. <laughs> I think it's colossal. <laughs> is it too subtle? Uh, tell me, are there any more at home like you? Oh, yes, we're a large family. Are you? Yes, there's my mother, my father, my two sisters, my little brother Alfie and Auntie Poppy. Oh. And we all sleep together in one big bed. Yes. And Granny. And your Granny? <laughs> yes. But there wasn't room for your grandfather. Oh, there was, but he died, so we made him get up. <laughs> uh, I should have known better. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lovejoy intends to give you each week his own version of some classic drama. So tonight we proudly present Napoleon's Retreat. <laughs> Yes, Lizette, tonight the Emperor is free from all the cares of state and I shall have him to myself. How wonderful. We've been married for over a year, but owing to the war, he spent the whole time with his armies. Mon Dieu, that is too bad. Yes, I have always been alone. Why, even on my honeymoon, he leaves me for a war in Spain. Lizette, the Emperor is approaching. Oui, madame. Josephine, I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? You mean... England must be invaded. Oh, can't that wait? No, no. For a nation of shopkeepers, tomorrow will be too late. Why? It's early closing day. Oh, always war. Is it so important to you? Yes, my little butterfly. Then you must choose between your guns and your butterflies. Then I choose guns. But won't you stay with me? For just a little while. Oh, no. Not tonight, Josephine. Oh, please. For just a teeny little while. Nappy. Ah, don't call me nappy. My generals will think of a wet blanket. Oh, always your generals or your armies. That's all you ever think of. Farewell, Josephine. I must go to Moscow. I must go. Moscow? But I thought you said you were going to invade England. So I am, but Moscow's a shortcut. And I suppose your shortcut takes you by Paris. Paris, I don't understand. Oh, I know perfectly well what is going on behind my back. You're going to Paris to see Marie Valeska. Ah, don't flame up so my little Josephine. I've got to join my armies. Then before you go, won't you please grant me one request? Ah, no. Not tonight, Josephine. <sighs> Very well, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, why are your stays so short? No, no, no braces. Bony? How can you call me bony? My maid has gone out before you go. Would you please unfasten my dress? Ah, no, not tonight, Josephine. Oh, please, do take but a moment. Very well, but I must hurry. Why do you women wear so many fortifications? Strategy, mon empereur. And now, unfortunately, I go to the war. But you have a long journey. Let me pour you out a glass of wine. Wine? No, no. Not tonight, Josephine. But you must drink to victory. Victory is assured. Then here's to your safe return to La Belle France.
and me. I shall be uh, waiting for you. Josephine, I am about to make my greatest advance. Mon Empereur, so you are going to invade England? Oh, not tonight, Josephine. <laughs> and lasses, the next turn I've got for you is a novelty and something new. That clever pair, the Carolis. <laughs> But I want to play alone, you understand? You! You must not play. I play! Not you!
Sorry, Mr. Lovejoy, but I couldn't get it. You couldn't get what? Well, as a matter of fact, they said they didn't keep it. They said they didn't keep what? They didn't keep what you told me to fetch. Well, what did I tell you to fetch? I don't know. I've forgotten. E you know, you should wear lilies in your hat. Your brain's dead. Yes, Mr. Lovejoy. I'll get some. Oh. Laughing. Sorry. Everybody's happy at your happy joke. 